This video will review section 3.4, where we discuss factors influencing the width of a confidence interval and how to interpret and understand what the confidence level means. First, let's address factors influencing confidence interval widths. The general form of a confidence interval is to take a statistic plus or minus a margin of error, where the margin of error is found by taking a multiplier, determined by the confidence level, times the standard deviation of a statistic. The standard deviation of the statistic is calculated using the standard error formula. That means that the width of a confidence interval is determined by the margin of error. In fact, the confidence interval width, or the difference between the upper and lower endpoints, is just twice the margin of error. So in determining what will affect the width of a confidence interval, we need to think about what will impact the margin of error. As stated before, the margin of error is the multiplier times the standard deviation of the statistic. The multiplier is determined by the confidence level. If we want a higher confidence level, we will use a larger multiplier. Notice that the multiplier for 95% confidence is 1.96 in a normal distribution, versus 99% confidence, more confidence, is 2.576, a larger multiplier. A larger multiplier will lead to a larger margin of error, which in turn gives us a wider confidence interval. The formula for standard error is dependent on a few things. If we are finding the standard error of a sample proportion, we use the formula the square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat over n. If instead we're finding the standard error of a sample mean, we use the formula s over the square root of n. Note that increasing the standard error will increase the width of a confidence interval. So in either formula, a smaller sample size will lead to a larger standard error, leading to a larger margin of error and a wider confidence interval. For means, a larger sample standard deviation, s, will lead to a larger standard error as well, giving us a larger margin of error and a wider confidence interval. p hat also will influence the standard error for sample proportions, but we don't want you to worry about the influence of the sample proportion as that's not something we can control. How do we interpret our confidence level? Or what does 95% confidence mean? Remember the point of creating a confidence interval is to estimate a parameter. So we start with some population and there's some unknown true mean mu. You may recognize this visualization from the bootstrapping video. In real life, we don't know the value of mu or the population, but if we were able to repeatedly sample from the population, we would draw sample means, x-bars, from each different sample. Note that the distribution of sample means would vary around the true mean and would form a roughly bell-shaped curve, if the central limit theorem holds or if the validity conditions are met. This means that in a normal distribution, 95% of the data is within two standard deviations of the mean, or for this example, 95% of sample means will be within two standard deviations of the population mean. 95% of statistics will fall within two standard deviations of the population parameter in more general terms. The standard deviation of a sample should be similar to the standard deviation of the population. So that means if we create a 95% confidence interval for each of those statistics that we gathered, 95% of those intervals would contain the parameter because 95% of those statistics are within two standard deviations of the parameter. View the video on simulating confidence intervals applet to see this demonstrated. This is how we interpret a confidence level. In the long run, or on average, 95% of samples would create a confidence interval of a 95% level, which would actually contain the parameter. In general terms, you just need to include the level of confidence desired, or that you are interpreting, and what the parameter is that you're trying to estimate in the context of the problem.